calling the ancestors and the community around the globe, across space and time. This is the moment of the autumnal equinox in this hemisphere. The moment of balance of light and dark in the dark part of the cycle. The light and dark parts of the day in the south and in the north of our planet are of equal length at this time. Feel the balance of this moment. Earth as she is poised in relationship with the sun. See her there in your mind's eye. Contemplate this balance. Feel for your own balance of light and dark within. Breathe into it. Breathe in the light. Swell with it. Let your breath go into the dark. Rest with it. Feel for your center, breathing to it, swelling with the light, letting your breath go into the dark. Feeling for your center, this sacred balance from which all comes forth. In our part of earth, the balance is tipping into the dark. Feel the shift within you. See in your mind's eye the descent ahead, the darkness growing. Remember the coolness of it. This is the time when we give thanks for our harvests, the abundance we have reaped. And we remember too the losses involved. The story of old tells us that Persephone, beloved daughter, receives from her mother the wheat, the mystery, knowledge of life and death. For this she gives thanks. She receives it graciously. But she sets forth into the darkness. Both mother and daughter grieve that it is so. Let us enter the sacred space wherein we may speak the mystery. Let us begin by remembering from whence we come and who we are. We come from the east to this place and we remember that we are water. She is alive in us and we in her. I remember that I am water. She is alive in me and I am her. We come from the north to this place and we remember that we are fire. She is alive in us 
and we in her. I remember that I am fire. She is alive in me, and I in her. We come from the west to this place, and we remember that we are earth. She is alive in us, and we in her. I remember that I am earth. She is alive in me, and I in her. We come from the south to this place, and we remember that we are air. She is alive in us, and we in her. I remember that I am air. She is alive in me, and I in her. We have been present, you and I, in the east, in the north, in the west, in the south. We have been present always in each stage of Gaia's story, as water, fire, earth, and air. She is alive in us, and we in her. We are at her center, which is everywhere. The circle is cast. We are between the worlds, beyond the bounds of space and time, where light and dark, birth and death, joy and sorrow meet as one. Let us call Demeter, the mother, who holds us, waits for us, and receives us. Demeter, Demeter, mother we call you, mother we call you, Demeter, Demeter, mother we call you, mother we call you, Demeter, Demeter, mother we call you, mother we call you, Demeter, Demeter, mother we call you, mother we call you, Demeter, Demeter, mother we call you, mother we call you, Demeter, Demeter, mother we call you, mother we call you, Demeter, Demeter. Mother, we call you, mother, we call you, Demeter, Demeter, mother, we call you, mother, we call you, Demeter, Demeter, mother, we call you, mother, we call you, Demeter, Demeter, mother, we call you, mother, we call you, Demeter, 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 Demeter. You are offered the wheat in every moment. It is given to you, if you will receive it. I give you the wheat, the mystery, the knowledge of life and death. I let you go as child, young one, daughter, most loved of mine. You descend to wisdom, to sovereignty. You will return as mother, co-creator with me. You ask the seed in the fruit, becoming the fruit in the seed. Inner wisdom guides your path. It is so. I am young one, becoming mother, seed becoming fruit, I am deepening into wisdom, into sovereignty. The mother knowledge grows within me. I give you the wheat, the mystery, the knowledge of life and death. I let you go as child, young one, most loved of mine. You descend to wisdom, to sovereignty. You will return as mother, co-creator with me. You are the seed in the fruit, becoming the fruit in the seed. Inner wisdom guides your path. It is so. I am daughter, becoming mother, seed, becoming fruit. I am deepening into wisdom, into sovereignty. The mother knowledge grows within me. Let us give thanks for our harvests, this harvest that we are given in every moment, all that we have reaped. Present your harvest now and speak if you wish. We have harvested much. Our lives are blessed. We are daughters and sons of the mother. 
It is time now to take up our wisdom and all that we have gained and remember the sorrows, the losses involved. Let us put on our shawls and remember the grief and the rage of the mother, of mothers and lovers everywhere, our grief, our rage. Persephone descends. The beloved one is lost. Hold your wheat close to your breast as we descend. Speak of that for which you grieve and rage. Let us sit in silence now and listen to our hearts. Ancient Mother, we hear you calling. Ancient Mother, we hear your song. Ancient Mother, our grief and pain is yours. Ancient Mother, we taste your tears. Ancient Mother, we hear you calling. Ancient Mother, we hear your song. Ancient Mother, our grief and pain is yours. Ancient Mother, we taste your tears. Ancient Mother, we hear you calling. Ancient Mother, we hear your song. Ancient Mother, our grief and pain is yours. Ancient Mother, we taste your tears. Each pick up a seed now from the basket. Persephone goes forth into the darkness to become queen of that world. She tends the sorrows. These represent our Persephones, who tends the sorrows. We are the Persephones who may tend the sorrows. Let us go out into the night with her and plant our seeds. She changes everything she touches. Everything she touches changes. She changes everything she touches. Everything she touches changes. She changes everything she touches. Everything she touches changes. She changes everything she touches. Everything she touches changes. She changes everything she touches. Everything she touches changes. She changes everything she touches. Everything she touches changes. Persephone had gathered three poppies and three sheaves of wheat. Then Demeter had led her to a long, deep chasm and produced a torch for her to carry. She had stood and watched her daughter go down further and further into the cleft of the earth. For months, Persephone received and renewed the dead without ever resting or growing weary. All the while, her mother remained disconsolate in her sorrow, she withdrew her power from the crops, the trees, the plants. She forbade any new growth to blanket the earth. The mortals planted their seed, but the fields remained barren. Demeter was consumed with loneliness and finally settled on a bare hillside to gaze out at nothing from sunken eyes. For days and nights, weeks and months, she sat waiting. In the crook of her arm, Persephone held her mother's wheat close to her breast, while her other arm held the torch aloft. 
She was startled by the chill as she descended, but she was not afraid. Deeper and deeper into the darkness she continued, picking her way along the rocky path. For many hours she was surrounded only by silence. Gradually she became aware of a low moaning sound. It grew in intensity until she rounded a corner and entered an enormous cavern where thousands of the dead milled about aimlessly, hugging themselves, shaking their heads and moaning in despair. Persephone moved through the forms to a large flat rock and ascended. She produced a stand for her torch, a vase for her mother's grain and a large shallow bowl piled with pomegranate seeds, the food of the dead. As she stood before them, her aura increased in brightness and in warmth. I am Persephone, and I have come to be your queen. Each of you has left the body you knew, and resides now in the realm of the manifesting, the realm of the dead. If you come to me, I will initiate you into your new world. She beckoned those nearest to step up onto the rock close to her. As each one came before her, Persephone embraced them and then stepped back and gazed into the eyes. She reached for a few pomegranate seeds, squeezing them between her fingers. She painted the forehead with a broad swash of the red juice and slowly pronounced. You have waxed into the fullness of life and waned into darkness. May you be renewed in tranquility and wisdom. You have waxed into the fullness of life and waned into darkness. May you be renewed in tranquility and wisdom. She changes everything she touches. Everything she touches changes. She changes everything she touches. Everything she touches changes. She changes everything she touches. Everything she touches changes. These represent our hope. The seed of life never fades away. She is always present. Blessed be the mother of all life. Blessed be the life that comes from her and returns to her. It is so. Let us eat, drink and enjoy her gifts, the feast. And let us tell each other stories of the sacred balance of grief and joy, the care that we feel and know, or anything else you would like to say. This is the space for telling each other's stories. Let us tie the red threads on each other. We participate in the vision of the seed of the wheat, the thread of life that continues beneath the visible. We may consider ourselves initiates into the mysteries. Let us open our circle now. We have remembered this day that we are heir present at each stage of Guy's story, that she is alive in us and me and her. May there be peace within us. We have remembered this day that we are Earth, present at each stage of Guy's story, that she is alive in us and me and her. May there be peace within us. We have remembered this day that we are fire, present at each stage of Gaia's story, 
that she is alive in us and we in her. May there be peace within us. We have remembered this day that we are water, present at each stage of Gaia's story, that she is alive in us and we in her. May there be peace within us. And turning to the center, we have remembered this day that we are given the wheat, the mystery, the mother knowledge grows within us. We are the seed in the fruit, becoming the fruit in the seed. We have remembered and given thanks for our abundant harvests. We have remembered the sorrows involved. And we have remembered our hope, the sacred balance of the cosmos, the thread of life, the seed that never fades away. It is the balance of grief and joy, the care that we may feel in our hearts. May there be peace within us and between us. May the peace and care of Goddess go in our hearts and minds. The circle is open but unbroken. May the love of the Goddess be ever in our hearts. It has been a merry meeting. It is a merry parting. And may we merry meet again. Blessed be.